what J-Mac did and what our stars have been doing. And, uh, and anytime you get some early runs like that, you know, it uh, makes you go out there and go a little harder, you know, and try to throw up, you know, more zeros than, than the other guy. And, you know, uh, we jumped on him and, you know, we were able to make pitches when we needed to. Can you talk about the sixth inning, uh, two on, nobody out, and that long at bat from Cabrera, how you won that battle and then got out of the inning? Yeah, he just, uh, you know, I just felt like I was beating him, you know, here and there with the fastball, so so I stuck with it, you know. We were, two, we were two seaming it, two seaming it, and four seaming it, and he really didn't know which way it was going, I think, and uh, had him leaning out over and was able to get one in on him, you know. He's a good hitter, and he battles me all the time, and we go way back, you know, we play together, so he's, he's talking a good game out there the whole time, yelling at me, and uh, so I was able to, able to get him out. It's, it's a big inning for me right there, but, you know, you need to go deeper, you know, the walks were up. Um, but you know, the bottom line is you're able to make a pitch you know, when I need to. Did you get this? productive bunt there, too? I don't know how productive it was. <laughs> I mean, he threw it away as long as I got it down, you know, but uh, there was still some yelling going on in the crowd. <laughs> Did you think a slide by Barajas, too? But, uh, Shamu out of water, you know. <laughs> <laughs> don't write that, please, but I joke about it all the time. It, it, we didn't beat his last one when he had to roll over and reach for the reach for home, but um, so we got here. You know, you got, uh, you got 25 guys that hustle. Nine you, innings. You personally haven't won seven straight to Joe Biden. You feel like a young man again? No. <laughs> doesn't do it? Doesn't do it. Um, you know, I, I got to give credit to, to, to Rod. You know, I mean, uh, it's, it's different. Um, you know, it goes back to when I had him in 08. You know, you look down off the mound and you see, you see your catcher's eyes and, and you see that he has more confidence than, than you have in yourself. And, you know, you just take a deep breath and it was different with him back there. I just feel like I can make a pitch whenever I need to and, and roll with him, you know, and then shake him all again tonight. And, you know, why wouldn't you? How does he express his confidence? Is it just in his eyes or the kind of pitches he calls? Well, I just think our relationship, you know, we, we've, we've been through it together and uh, it's, it's been nothing but, but a blast to work with him again. So, you know, having the success I had in 08 with him behind the plate, you know, pitchers don't have good success without their, without their catcher. You know, that's the bottom line. Did you get the impression that they were being a little patient in, with you in the early innings? Well, um, it's all over the place. Not all over the place, but I was missing um, some close pitches here and there. But uh, I was able, I just felt like I got ahead of a lot of guys and I wasn't able to put them away. And the uh, pitch count got up. But, you know, you got to battle and you can't give up. You got to keep rolling. Rod said that a lot of the later innings, two through six, was mostly fastball, the two seam, four seam, because the curveball wasn't quite there. Is that kind of how it went? Yeah, that's that's how he sees the game. You know, usually we keep throwing it and try to find it, but uh, we never found it tonight. So we stuck with, uh, and I think that threw them off. You know, I think they were looking for curveballs in a lot of situations, and we just stayed hard on them.